and welcome back to my channel. So I am actually in Sicily just for the weekend, a work trip for them, so I came to help them out. And we are staying in the most beautiful villa. I just had to share it with you guys. I thought it would be a pretty beautiful, unique video. Um, and I mean, I just had to share it with you all. It's so stunning. So, um, I'll leave the location in the description box in case you are ever wanting to visit Palermo, Sicily. It is the most stunning villa and, um, it's just, I'm in awe. So, I have to share it with you all. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough tour video. This is really lo-fi ASMR. I mean, you can hear the Nonetheless, I hope you love it and I hope you guys think this place is just as beautiful as I do. I mean, how could you not? Okay, so here is one of the bedrooms, for example. This is a bedroom where someone else is staying, like in our group. Um, but it's just so beautiful. You can see out here the, the doors to the garden. It's just so beautiful. So, just with the furniture and everything, I thought I'd give you guys like a sneak peek. This is the sofa bed, um, and then oh, just the decor is so pretty. And then we'll go outside to the best part. The place is a mess because of work stuff, but the best part is outside my seashells. It is literally stunning. Okay, so here is the view when you first come outside. There's the little table set, and then all these beautiful flowers. Like, how beautiful is that? Oh my goodness. And then over here, you have nice benches. There are lizards everywhere, so you might be able to catch one on camera. They were taking pictures out here by the like, little pond thing, I guess this is. Oh, there's actual fish in it. Oh my goodness. I feel like it needs to be cleaned. I mean, I think so. I haven't actually um, really been out here much. My seashells, I've been out and I've been working inside, so I haven't even seen the fish, but some stuff there. That's the door to our place. This is really cute here, the little, like, um, this little thing here, like the little sink. see into another bedroom. This is where someone else is staying, so their stuff is in there. Then we have a bathroom, and then I think this is, yeah, that's my bedroom where I'm staying. And then you walk over here, and look at that. Wow. So, you have the big, long driveway with the gate, so well protected. If any of you, um, need like a space like that. It's all gated, which is nice. How beautiful are these flowers? Oh my goodness. They're so pretty and purple. They're so gorgeous. I love them. So this is another villa that you can actually rent. Um, so if you had more people staying or whatnot, you could, you could rent this sunny villa as well. Very pretty. So gorgeous. Move right along to the best part. Da -da -da -da. Drum roll, please. Da -da -da. My seashells. Wow. The sunlight will focus there. So, this is a 17th century villa. Now, the people who own it rent out the apartment here and the apartment here. So, if you rent this villa, this is where you'll be staying. Okay. But then the villa itself is still occupied by the parents. So it's been passed down the family since the 17th century, which is so crazy. It's just so beautiful. Have all the lovely palm trees and everything. It's just so tropical. I'm literally just in awe. I mean, it's stunning. So this is the back of one of the apartments. We'll go over this way first, okay? have some nice benches and stuff. Um, one of the people who was staying with us, she
she needed some clips for um, work so we filmed them here which was really pretty um, we did some different outfits and stuff and it was so gorgeous here with the cactuses and everything so stunning I'm currently wearing a little bikini so I might want to take some fun little tropical bikini pictures for Insta later I don't know go over here how pretty is this the little the little cat succulents There is just an apartment building, but the villa is just massive. It's crazy. I don't see the parents up there now. So I might be able to give you guys a little, little preview. This is also really neat here, just in the center. I'm not sure if they used to have a fountain here or something, but it's pretty how they added all the potted plants. Tap on one of them. I like this one because it has the little pink flowers. And we know how I feel about pink. with like hair and then you have the really cool table I mean look at the architecture on that like that is just stunning the stonework is just so beautiful just ugh I mean oh it's so gorgeous the palm trees and everything the plants over there I think you have like a well it's so cool I also just needed to film this video because I mean I have to document this like I'm only here for two days, but I mean, this place is so stunning. I'm gonna look back on this video and be like, holy crap. Okay, so then just more of the villa there. I think here you can really just tell how big it is. Like, it's just huge. So then going through this section here, the gate, this is the area that takes you to the pool. Now, this is a stunning walk here. So again, you have some more of those beautiful flowers. I can hear some lizards in the bushes there. Just how stunning are those? Wish my camera would focus a little better, but... Hello, there we go, there we go. I love flowers so much. <laughs> this is just so peaceful. Like, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous, my seashells. I wish I could invite you all <laughs> and we can have a big just hang out this place is so cool look at so the uh, willow trees are my absolute favorite i'm like just in love with them so 
so there's a weeping willow and then through there you can see there's like a little table set with the weeping willow oh my goodness that is just so cute so beautiful and then you can see faintly through there the um the pool oh my goodness it's just so stunning i'm so grateful and lucky to be here it's been so so cool So, it's a really neat, like, cactus tree there. Can you see that? My seashells, like, look at all the little cactuses hanging off. I've never seen anything like that before. That's so cool. Wow. It's really neat. Zoom out again. You can see there's some pink trees there, and another gate back there, and then that just goes that way. I think that's the end of the property. So beautiful. Moving this way, right along, you have, oh, I guess I'll show you this here. This is where we just came from. Okay. Moving along here, like a little garden area. Just trapped <laughs> with a pretty bench and whatnot. And then, when you do rent this place out, you get the entire pool to yourself. I mean, oh, sorry, I have shaky hands right now, but how cool is that? What a beautiful pool. I mean, oh, with the willows in the back. And then you have this really pretty arch right here. Let's zoom in on that so you can see a bit with the flowers. A bit of work there. How pretty is that? So gorgeous. So I'll we'll walk over this way first. Oh, I'm gonna go. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, seashells. It's like my first time using a phone, apparently. <laughs> So this is really a lot cool. I guess if you were having a lot of people stay here, I mean, we're only like four people, so. But if you were having a lot of people stay here, this would be pretty cool, like, with all the chairs and everything, and like, ah, just as I hang out. And look, it's, there's um, the chandelier there, but this is like a palm tree, um, the palm tree roof hut. It's so cool. It's literally so cool. A tropical dream. Okay, and over here you have some big fruits, a little statue there, and path back to the big villa. All right. I wonder what the parents do, like how they keep up with all of this because it is so much upkeep. As you guys can tell, this place is huge. Okay, then we have, of course, the pool. I haven't been in yet. I just put on my um, bikini and was gonna go for a little swim. Some wooden chairs here. Lots of, lots of birds. Feels kind of like you're in the jungle or something with all the birds. Now, I will say the only downside to this place is there is a ton of mosquitoes. Um, I think, like, you can't really tell on me as bad, but my friend is completely eaten up and, like, they have rashes and stuff, and the one girl had really, really bad rashes from all the mosquitoes, so um, that is one thing to note. If you're, like, allergic to mosquitoes, <laughs> there's a ton here. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just because all the trees, but nonetheless, it's worth it. I'll just be itchy later. <laughs> and yeah, of course, the pretty, pretty sure this is a willow. Kind of looks a little bit different than the ones. And of course the pool. I'm gonna take a little clip here. It's like if I can just reach my hand in. Let's go over here. It's actually not too bad. Considering that the pool is still this temperature, it's pretty good. Though I don't think that Sicily gets too cold. Any of you, my seashells, live in Italy or in Sicily, you can correct me on that if I'm wrong, but definitely it doesn't get as cold as Canada, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think. I think that's everything. 
Anyway, I think that's the grand tour. But I will flip the camera around and say hi to you guys. Just, oh, so stunning. I really want, like, a picture there or something. But I, don't, I didn't pack a tripod, which was a big mistake. Because we're only here for a weekend, so I was like... Sicily Villa Tour. Like I said, I will leave the link in the description box in case um, any of you do want to plan a trip here or something with a group of friends. I think it'd be really cool. Um, and stay here. It's so beautiful. And I just had to share this place with you all. I thought it was too stunning not to share. And I just think it's so peaceful here. So maybe I can do a little ASMR just with like the background here. Like I said, I am in my bikini because I was going to go in the pool, but um, I thought I could show you guys my latest purchase. Sorry, my hands are so shaky. Um, oh my god. Sorry, but I just got this. So this is a little digital camera. I've been obsessed with like digital photos, you know, the ones that make it look kind of 2000 old school. So I got this this one off of eBay. This is the Canon Zoom Lens 5X, 16 megapixels. Um, for my clothing brand, I really want to do a bunch of like digital camera looks. I think it's so cool. Also, if you're wondering, this bikini is from um, Katomi, Katomi Swim, Katomi Swim. A rare occasion that you don't see me in my own bikinis from my clothing line, but I've never worn this one before, so I thought I would give it um give it a try. I think it is really pretty. Okay, let me see if I can turn it on without it being too loud. There we go. I can take a picture. Actually, the lighting is way too bad for this, but I'll do it anyways, just to be nostalgic. Playmate me 
take a look at your skin here. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. Can I move your hair out of your face a little bit? I'm sure if the lighting is better like this, but I don't think I can really hold the camera that well. You can see your beautiful eyes. Oh, my hands are just too shaky. But look at the view. How beautiful my seashell. Is that beautiful? <laughs> beautiful eyes. And your nose. Your nose. Loosely today because I have to take um, some pictures. I want to take some more pictures for my little necklace here. This is the Ocean X Anna Luisa necklace um, that I did with them. I've talked about this a lot, of course, but um, I've gotten a lot of questions if it'll come out in silver, and as of right now, we haven't discussed that. So if you do want it, be sure to snag it because it is low stock, so there's not many left. So beautiful, I love it. I think it's the perfect aesthetic for today. But I want to take some more pictures with it, and um, specifically with my little digital camera here. That is if I can manage to hold it straight. This is really cute. So there's a little heart, uh, pink heart bead, and then a pink bead, a yellow bead, and a blue bead. On my eyes, on my eyelashes, I'm wearing the Honest Beauty Mascara with the Kala Waterproof Mascara over it. And then I just got, um, you guys will see either before this video or after this video, but I bought the Tarte Sculpt Tapes, the blush, the bronzer, and the, the highlighting one, and I love them. I love them so much. My seashells, like, I have the Charlotte Tilbury ones, and I just don't think they blend as well. Like, I mean, I prefer the dark ones, and the dark ones are a bit cheaper. Um, they just blend so nice, and so far they haven't broken me out. They're just so glowy and pretty. So, I have the blush one on my cheeks today, and then I had the Tarte Maracuja lip on my... Tarte is my favorite makeup brand. I would love to work with them one day. So, fingers crossed one day see shows, but I just love their products so much. And they are vegan and cruelty free, which is so good, right? So, they are just the bomb.com. It's just so peaceful here with the, the birds and everything. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go run and grab my makeup bag so I can like tap on some products and stuff because I wanted to just do a tour of the villa but this is so relaxing so I'm gonna go grab some stuff to tap on because I can't end the video here, it's too good. So I'm back. So I have my makeup in this, one of those like travel, travel plastic bags but um, I think we'll do half of your makeup here. And then we'll go to that cool stone table. I'll do the other half of your makeup there, okay? So, let's see. We might as well start off with eyes. So, start off with your brows first. This is the Kozas Brow Pop. ASMR days when she would do 
videos outside. I would love to have my own pretty garden like this and be able to film outside and bring my microphone and stuff. Of course, I don't have one today, but it'd be so cool. Okay, then we'll curl your lashes. Some of the honest mascara on top. That's my favorite mascara right now. Just blink, 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 blink. Good. Blink, 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 blink. Good. And for your bottom lashes, we can use the Cali Ray Come How or High Water Mascara. This one is really good as well, but I prefer just using it as like a finishing mascara instead of um, all over mascara. So many bugs. <laughs> Not the best day of some more of my seashells. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but nonetheless, I hope you like it. And then I'll save the face makeup for over there, but we'll do your lips now, okay? So, first, we'll use the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Liner in True Me. Here is my other favorite lip product right now, the Tarte Maracuja Lip Oil. I think it is Juicy Lip. This one is in the shade Strawberry. beautiful villa and I will finish off your makeup here. Okay, so let's see what do I have left here? Your face makeup. Grab all this stuff. Then I actually 
just got these new makeup brushes, um, like just like two days ago, actually, right before I came. But these are from Rose Ink, and they're like stippling brushes, and I love them so much in a second. So, I'll use those on you today. First up, we have the Beauty, beauty, the blush, the blush thing. <laughs> and this one is in the shade, this one is in the shade, Cool Bronze, which if you have a similar skin tone to me and you're order, order, ordering, ordering online, I would recommend this one. Then this is the shade Pink. Pink. is that you've traveled so far or your dream place to travel um this place has been really pretty but we've only been here for two days so we haven't been able to do much like exploring or anything because it's been strictly for work so um i would love to come back to sicily and do a bit more exploring and whatnot you know one day but yeah the villa itself is so beautiful so definitely recommend staying here if you are planning a trip to sicily at some point but I love y'all so much, and I'll see you in my next video.